Hello everyone, this is Sachin again and uh, today we are going to see how you can send an event from an S3 to SQS. So if you recall from my previous um, YouTube video, you, you might have seen like I have implemented a serverless architecture where S3 was able to send an event to Lambda and Lambda, Lambda was able to send the notification to its destination and we also talked about the supported sources and supported destination so uh, this time we are going to implement exactly the same thing except that there's no lambda over here in fact s3 is capable to send the events directly to sksq so let's see how it works so here i have already created this demo bucket before um, uh, recording this video um, this is a fresh bucket you go to properties and there's something called event notification. You can create an event notification. Here, you, you can see that there is a destination and SQS being one of the supported destination. So we go to SQS and let's create a queue where we are going to send a message. So come to here, create queue, just give it a name, my demo, and leave everything default and create queue. Perfect. Uh, so my queue is created. You can go to the dashboard, refresh it, and you see there's no messages currently right now. Here. Now go back to S3 bucket and let's give any event name. I'm gonna just give event, leave everything default. For all object creation, I want to send an event. So choose whatever is suitable to you. Go to SQS, choose this queue and click save changes. And it will result you an error. The reason being is right now, you are trying to send a message from S3 to SQS, but SQS does not allow, uh, allow this. So you go to SQS and click on queue and edit it. And you see that this whole space policy and it says, allow all the SQS actions to this resource only for this principle. Basically only the, my root account can do that and S3 is not allowed, so we need to fix that part. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so I've already prepared this uh, policy and what it says that from S3 to this SQS resource for my account, um, you know, uh, this ARN, it should allow all SQS actions so copy this policy come here and update it that's it safe now once this policy is applied you can in fact go and edit and see that this uh, is present over here whatever we have um, copied it now just click one more time save changes and this time it will be saving that one so now you go down and you see this event notification has been created and this is a destination in sks queue and this is the queue. Now, if you go here and go again to the dashboard, refresh it, uh, okay, and you see there's one message because you have already integrated that. So now what I'm gonna do here is in this bucket, go back to the object, and I'm going to upload one file. So I have a file name called a.txt. Just drag and drop here, click upload, and this file is uploaded successfully. You go back to SQS queue, refresh it one more time, and you see the message count is two. Click on this and send and receive messages. If you want to send message to this queue, use this upper portion, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to say poll for messages. And now we see this is the latest message. Uh, sorry, this one. And then click on this, expand it, and you see the file which we have uploaded has come over here. All right, thank you.